Good morning, everybody. My name is Angela. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will be doing a Bible study on stepping into the unfamiliar. This is a message I believe all of us can relate to. Myself right now, I have been going through some testing. And before I get into the message, I just want to invite God's Holy Spirit into this moment. You have not clicked on by accident. Lord Jesus, I invite you into this moment, God, to show up and show out, Father. Connect with each watching and listening heart, Father, that we all extract something from this right now. We love you, we honor you, and I just depend on you right now to deliver. Amen. So recently, I've been venturing out into the unknown. I just started a new job two months ago, and it's a lot it's requiring a lot of learning a lot of focus and i've caught myself saying a few times i felt like a big duck in my old waters now i'm in this new unfamiliar place and i feel like a little duck in a big old pond again i just want to encourage you in this process of wanting more to venturing into the unfamiliar to reaching for high heights there is always going to be opposition and there's going to be that unfamiliarity, which is going to bring vulnerability. And that's what I have been experiencing. But I just want to encourage you. This is also called growth and it's part of the process. I have another Bible study that is similar to this one. And that one is called True Vine. I'm going to leave the link above so you can check it out. And it's the... It's this message, but I take another direction with it. It goes over the process of starting something new, the pressing it's going to take, and the product that comes in the end. Very good message. But this is a new message, mid-November message of 2022. God is always doing something new. And like I said earlier, I don't think it's by accident that you clicked on. So come and get your word. See what God has for you today. All right. First, we're going to talk about stepping into the unknown. It's uncomfortable. It's unfamiliar. It's what we don't know. We have not yet been exposed to this. And, you know, with new levels, there will always be new devils. Always know when you're trying to better yourself, there is going to be a devil standing at that door to block you to make you fear and run the other way that you just came from with your tail between your legs. But God has asked us to be strong, courageous, fearless, and faithful. By coming into this new position, whether it's a job, whether it's just loving your children or your husband on another level, whether it's starting your own business, there's always going to be new ventures. Going back to school, there's always new territory. And there's always going to be a fight in that territory. So expect it. So you're not caught off guard with the opposition. There's always going to be something that comes to stop you, block you, make you feel insecure. Press on by faith. Because God has given us this land. Let me give you a scripture. Joshua 1 and 3. I read this yesterday and that's what encouraged me to do the Bible study here. Because I don't read Joshua a lot. But Joshua is all about possessing the land that God said is yours. So if you're going after any of these things, just know God is with you. Not only does he go before you, he stands behind you. He stands with you and his Holy Spirit lives in you because you are his temple. Hallelujah. Joshua 1 and 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. And if you drop down to verse 6, it says, Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto thy fathers to give them. God is promising us this land. With that being said, I go into my second point. Remember your why. Whenever you start something new, whether it's weight loss, a job, you know, you're super encouraged. I can do this. I can do this. Then the opposition comes. <laughs> 
And then our faith gets a little weary. It happens to us all. Everybody has their breaking point. So it's so vital for you in step two to remember your why. Remember why you're doing this. In these last eight weeks of my training, what I am doing this for. Because it's hard walking through insecurity, feeling like maybe I don't have what it takes. Maybe because your situation will lie on you. And you got to be able to keep that faith. Me, I look to my children. I, I look to my husband. Sometimes the people around you can believe in you more than you believe in you. They see the potential. But with that, people don't see your fears. They don't see your insecurities. So it's so important to have that team of people around you that will lift you up and say, you got this, girl. If anybody can do it, you can do it. You got to be running with the right team. So when you're low, you got a friend there to lift you up. Praise God. And that's exactly what my friends and my family have been doing. Because I have gotten weary. And it will make you look at yourself like, maybe I can't do it. Keep your faith. Yes, you can. If God blessed you with this position, if he blessed you with the vision to do something, if he blessed you with an idea for a business, God will provide. So we just got to be faithful and go on that course, whatever it brings. Yes, if you're going to walk through insecurity, it's okay. God will be with you. And when you get to the end of that mark, you are just going to praise God because you know it was all him. And you're that much stronger when you get to the end of that road. It's a progression. Hallelujah. So don't stop at fear. Don't stop at insecurity. Don't stop at weariness, but let your faith take hold of your mind. Dust yourself off and try again. Miss Aaliyah said that. <laughs> Step two is remember your why, because that will help you when you feel weariness, remembering your why. I'm not doing this for nothing. I got a strong why. I got a legacy that's coming behind me. I'm doing this for my children. Me and my husband got dreams and to make the dream happen, I'm gonna have to walk through uncharted territory. Come hell or high water. That's just what it's gonna take. And step three is what's it gonna take? It's gonna take faith. Second Timothy four and seven. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. It is so hard to keep the faith. When you got issues and problems and insecurities coming at you left and right, not even counting living in a hard world as it is, you have to keep your faith. You have to guard it with your mind. You have to guard it with your heart. That is precious. That is part of your why that's going to get you to that end point. Protecting your mind. It says, Throughout all the Bible, the first and most valuable commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all of your heart, all of your mind, and with all your soul. Other verses say it as with all your might and with all your strength. You got to protect your mind because that's going to get you there. And we are God's children. This is his most important command is to love him, to make no other gods, not gods of money, not gods of vanity and popularity. There's so many distractions that come up in this world to take you off course. But if you love the Lord thy God with all of your heart, all of your mind, and all of your soul, you cannot go wrong. That does not mean I don't get caught up in every other distraction like other people. It happens to me all the time. And I have to fix my focus back on Jesus. It's a daily fight to stay in the faith and to stay focused. I pray that this word was a blessing to you. The most important part of this Bible study is reserved for right now. For those that do not know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I can tell you from experience, he is a Savior. That's exactly what he's done for me. He has brought light to dark places and he continues to strengthen me through every battle I face, through every unknown circumstance that hits my life. He's a keeper 
and he'll stay with you on this journey no matter what you face and that alone his love his grace his mercy his forgiveness like wow he is just endless and how good he is and the fact that he wants anything to do with me that is life changing <laughs> if you would like to know Jesus as your own personal savior I'm going to walk you in a simple prayer God knows your heart meet me right here in this moment Lord Jesus I just thank you for right now Father I thank you for every hungry, hungry heart that is longing for you longing for a relationship with you God you know them. Lord, forgive me from all my sins. Meet me in this moment. I invite you into my heart to change my mind, to change me inside and out, God, that I will never be the same again. In Jesus' name, I accept what you did on that cross for me, Lord. And I just meet you here in this moment. We love you, we praise you, and we receive you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that simple prayer right there, <laughs> you don't even have to really understand all the, everything there is to know about the Bible. God will meet you in your hunger and your desire just to know more. He will meet you in your curiosity. He's that good. And he loves you. He pursues you to your very last breath. That is the God I serve. God bless you. I thank you for everybody that tuned in. Be blessed. Feel free to share this message with anyone you feel. You keep doing what you do. I'm going to do what I do. Have a great day.